homemade pizza. Guys, uh, firstly, before we start this video, I would like to get in to actually just demonstrate the difference between lighting and picture quality and videos, as we all know that that determines a lot to the quality of your video. From here, in this video, we are going to be showing you guys the diff the budget pizzas where we would be start we would be doing three different pizzas starting with a bologna pizza followed by a salami pizza and from that onto a pre-cooked seafood pizza from there we would be doing it as you guys can see as we would be handling things going forward please guys remember that the seafood has been pre-cooked and has been pre-done so from here out you guys would be seeing this first hand and from here on i would like to say thank you to you guys for taking the time out to watch this video and i would be handing over to the narrator thank you good day guys this is the so-called narrator as mentioned before so firstly the narrator would like to say thank you for taking the first step to do something out of your comfort zone as you can see it's not easy but let's get right back into the video so here we are doing the first step which is most important we are basing the pizza with origami and tomato sauce So we truly believe that the most important step is to base your pizza correctly and this is where the origami and tomato sauce comes into play and we believe that any restaurant will use this first step because that when you take the first bite that origami has to come through. So as you can see here we are set up with our pineapple, our cheese, salami, our green pepper, other words known as bell pepper. This is how we will be going forward. So here the master chef is basically basing all the pizzas. So who says pineapple doesn't belong on pizza? Let's hear in the comments what you have to think about that. Because I truly believe that pineapple definitely goes on pizza. So once again we can see the master chef doing his thing. And in life you need to always give credits where it's due. So the master chef goes by the name of Leo and we will just leave it at that. So we can also see there's a dog in the presence. Maybe he's getting some whiff or some smell of how delicious this origami smells. And what a cute dog that is. So here we are starting with a salami pizza and we are placing everything nicely so that everyone gets a bite of that salami. So what you also need to know is that hygiene is definitely important and the hands was washed thoroughly and that is why we don't expect any comments with related to hygiene. So here we are putting the green pepper on the pizza. Next up we can see the chef is basically dividing the lovely Melody, gammon and so on so that once again 
everybody can have a bite of everything once they get their slice. So definitely going forward, when we do make our pizza again, we will be making the raw, raw ingredients for you, as in making our own bases ourselves. But unfortunately, the bases was already purchased, pre-cooked, and ready to assemble as the master chef is doing right here. So one thing we can appreciate from the master chef is using both ends, splitting it out nicely and you know we truly believe that there should be no waste so why not use everything at one go. So spread things out nicely, that is what you are seeing right here. So with everything in life, there's a process as to how you go about it and how you do it. And that process determines how you would like it to be. You need to always think outside the box and do your own thing and always just be different. You'll be seeing the master chef putting the pineapple on the pizza. see perfect cuts being made so who says guys can't make food in other words let me correct myself and say men so what is the difference between a guy or a boy and a man? Please let us know in the comments. Is it okay for me to also say that the way to a lady's heart is making good food? You know, sometimes you need to give your lady a break. Even though that is a duty to cook for the man when he comes home from a long day of work, tiring no matter what job it might be, whether it's laboring, whether it's in the office, a guy just expects to come home with a nice cooked meal by the wife or the girlfriend but let's give her a break and let's show them that you can also relax whether it might be take out the trash or so on or cut the grass but we can also do a lady's job. So 
So the chef is now preparing the best pizza, if I have to say so myself, as the narrator. Where I feel like I shouldn't really be the narrator because the master chef who spoke initially should be doing his thing throughout the video. We truly believe that always you can where it's due and you need to know in life one hand washes the other and you can't make it on your own. So here we can see the master chef is laying the pre-cooked seafood with Cajun spice onto the pizza. Have you ever had a seafood pizza? That's a question. Please do comment in the comment section. So you can see very delicate moves. The one thing is to be perfect, or let's rather say we strive for perfection, but we know it's impossible to actually get perfection. So, as the saying goes, good things take time. And that's exactly what you are witnessing right in front of you. So next up, we will see what the master chef is about to do. We know that cheese is quite expensive, so we do apologize for the little cheese that we have. So always be careful not to grate your fingers because we definitely don't want a finger taste in the food. So whatever you do in life, it's all about skill and technique and we are definitely witnessing technique right in front of us. As we can see, we don't miss, nothing goes to waste it, there's a 5 second rule on the countertop, we're not talking about the floor, if it goes on the floor, luckily we have a dog that can just eat it up. Also, if I have to say, as I got the privilege of being the narrator, we, I truly believe that the master chef that you heard in the beginning should have completed his video. You will see that nothing goes to waste and also the skill that is involved. So here we can see the pizza making its final stage going nicely into the pizza oven. We definitely see some nice tattoos also and we can say wow, what a sexy guy with nice tattoos. Here you can see the first pizza that came out, which was called the budget pizza. Next up, 
we have the salome pizza and you can see we have a nice red wine to complement the pizza Here we have not a budget but let's say an extraordinary pizza because it is the seafood mix pizza. And when I say seafood mix we're speaking of calamari and so on. But let me not disturb you guys while you are watching the master chef cut the pizza. using his special tools and like we at the wine men always believe if you have the right tools for the job it becomes very easy so we are cutting on a stone plate and this plate could also be put into your oven and it would definitely absorb that heat to keep your pizza nice and fresh. So us at the Wyman we always believe you do things correctly, there is no shortcuts and that is why we have the lovely seafood pizza here being cut with its calamari, its mussels, its crab, legs, crab, whatever you would like to call it, its prawns. So here we're just showing you our setup. And lastly we are showing you that the master chef he got his mojo back. And we thank you at the Wyman.